Hi everyone, Andy at Trade Skills for You here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to extend the short cable or conductor. Now, this can be a problem when you're installing a new consumer unit on an existing installation. You often find that the conductors are too short to reach the new terminals. And it can be a problem when you're changing a socket. So I'm going to show you three methods today and the tools that you'll need. Right, let's take a look at what we need to do this job. So I've got my crimping tool here. I've got some side cutters for cutting my conductors. And let's have a look at the three different ways of extending um, a cable. Well, we have connector blocks and you've probably seen these around, they're very common. And I've just prepared one earlier there so you can just trim your conductors down and they just fasten in and screw down there. Now the problem with these is that they must always be in an enclosure. Uh, I've seen these buried in a wall before today, which isn't ideal because uh, screw terminals can come loose. So never bury these in a wall, always make sure that they're in an enclosure. So that's the screw connector. We've then got the, uh, the, the lever connector where you've got this thing where these levers push down. So um, I'll just show you this. Um, so you, again, you've got to prepare your conductor to the right length. That slides in there. Make sure there's no copper visible and that just, the lever clamps down there. And hey presto, there we go. Nice join. Um, the, these are, they're, they're great because they're so quick and easy to use. The problem with them is that they're a bit bulky. So it could present a problem if you're tight on space. And the, the method I'm going to show you today is by using these inline crimps. Now you'll notice we've got three colours here. Uh, the red crimp is for cable sizes of 1 and 1.5 millimetres squared. The blue is for 2.5 millimetres squared and the yellow is for 4 and 6 millimetres squared cable. Today I'm going to be use, using the blue one for 2.5. Well, here I'm at the socket and here you can see that I've got a conductor that is way too short. That's never going to reach the terminal. So I've got myself a piece of wire, a conductor that's already been trimmed ready. And this is 2.5 millimeter squared conductor. So I'm using the blue crimp. So the blue crimp, I'm just going to fasten it lightly into the crimping tool. Like so, just got to make sure that you you're crimping down on the piece of metal that is inside here and I'm going to fasten this piece in first because that's going to be easier so you've got to make sure that you've trimmed enough copper to go into the crimp but not that much that it's showing outside of the the crimp itself so if I just show you the camera like so you can see there's no copper showing there and then you just tighten down give it a good squeeze it releases itself and there it's just crimped the, uh, the metal inside there. Got a nice tight fit on the conductor, so that's great. All I've got to do now is fasten that onto here. So again, I'm just going to put it in the crimping tool first, just to make my life a little bit easier. And I hope you can see this. This is now going to be slid. I'm going to slide it onto this piece of copper. So I don't know if that's coming out, but I'll show you when I've done it. And again, a nice tight crimp, and there you go, it's gone on. And again, I can't pull that off. That's a permanent join now. So these inline crimps can be used to uh, repair cables that have, say, been broken in a wall. Um, but the outer insulation, the outer sheath, should I say, that is on a twin and earth cable has to be reinstated if that's the case. So these can be used as permanent connectors where there's been some damage, but you must make sure that the cable is doubly insulated when you've finished. Uh, there we go. So I'll just grab the wire cutters, my side cutters, should I say, and I'm now going to make this conductor the same length as the one that's there. So just a nice little trimming there. Sorry, I'm left-handed, so I'll just move around here a bit. And there we go. We've now extended that conductor. It's the same as that. That can now be fastened in the terminal. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.